So Max Verstappen is the 2022 world champion. I mean, he was just class in Japan. It was tricky conditions and he just absolutely dominated. It was like he was playing the F1 game with the AI difficulty on easy, to be honest. He's also driven amazingly well this season and his second world title was fully deserved. But the way he was crowned world champion was just a bit bizarre, wasn't it? And the FIA has also come under fire for what happened at the start of the race. But before we begin, if you enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe for more Formula 1 content. And you can follow me on Twitter at James underscore Formula 1 and there'll be a link in the description. So let's start with how Max became champion. He crossed the line so far ahead of his rivals, but no one was aware he would cross the line to be champion. Firstly, it didn't look like four points would be awarded, and secondly, Charles Leclerc finished in second, just ahead of Sergio Perez. But Leclerc messed up the last corner on the last lap, leaving the track as he defended from Perez. And even though he crossed the line ahead of Perez, he was given a five second penalty later on which demoted him to third, with Perez as a result moving up to second. And on top of that, Four points were awarded for the race, even though the full distance wasn't complete. So why were four points awarded? Well, it was initially thought that Verstappen's victory would be classified with 75% of the normal points being awarded due to the race distance. But the FIA regulations state that the criteria had been met for the four points to be awarded. Article 5.6 states, If a race is suspended in accordance with Article 57 and cannot be resumed, points for each title will be awarded in accordance with the following criteria. And one of those criteria is, if the leader has completed 50% but less than 75% of the scheduled race distance, points will be allocated for column 3. Now column 3 would have seen 19 points awarded for the race winner, 14 to second place and 12 to third. But the race was indeed resumed, so according to the rules, full points can be awarded. That leaves Verstappen with a 113 point lead, which is enough to be world champion. And it did leave a lot of us confused when it was randomly announced during Verstappen's interview post-race. But still, Max is champion, and as I said, it's very well deserved. So the start of the race was a bit chaotic, with there being several incidents on the opening nap in wet conditions. But a big crash for Carlos Sainz at turn 12 prompted the safety car to come out, which was swiftly followed by a red flag. But before the field returned to the pits while circulating behind the safety car, a recovery vehicle was already stationary on the track in order to address Sainz's car. Now, Pierre Gasly was the last driver to pass the tractor as he was catching up to the back of the pack and was left furious over the radio that there was a vehicle on track while cars were still passing. Now, the track was wet and visibility wasn't great, so I feel there should not have been a recovery vehicle on the circuit until all cars were back in the pits. And when you go on board with both Gasly and Sainz's car as Marshalls recovered the F-175, it's seriously not a view you want to see. Now, Gasly was summoned to the stewards following the way he passed the incident, alleged to have been speeding and he's now been hit with a 20 second penalty and 2 points on his license following the Grand Prix. Now whilst it was wrong for him to be going too fast, it doesn't take away from the fact that there was a recovery vehicle on the track when conditions were very poor. Now this hasn't left teams or drivers happy in the slightest. I mean these are Norris and Perez's tweets for example, Gasly labelled it unacceptable, and Sainz was also unhappy. The Spaniard was quoted by Motorsport.com as saying, What people don't understand is that even behind the safety car, going 100, 150 kilometers per hour, we don't see anything. So even if there's a crane on track and we're behind the safety car going 100 kilometers an hour, one driver could do a small mistake, a stupid mistake, go a bit offline, not remember that there's a tractor there, and crash into a tractor. So why even risk it? I guess this is more our point. And Red Bull team boss Christian Horner demanded a full investigation referring to the tragic crash here in 2014, which resulted in the heartbreaking death of Jules Bianchi. He told Sky F1, That's totally unacceptable. We lost Jules Bianchi a few years ago, and that should never happen, ever happen. So there needs to be a full investigation as to why there was a recovery vehicle on the circuit. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today. Thank you ever so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. And until the next one, take care.